Fred Brennan here. We're here at um, corners of uh, Trafalgar and Highway 5 just by the uh, Walmart Plaza. This area here and north of Highway 5 is being developed with extreme prejudice. Um, this area here is getting thousands and thousands and thousands of units of condos and singles detached um, and uh, townhouses, thousands of them. I'm pointing out this area here behind me because as you can see this particular condominium is, well let's count it. We, can, we ignore the ground floor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four stories tall, twenty, twenty-one levels high. There is a law in Oakville that says you're not allowed to go beyond twelve stories tall. Yet this particular condo is what I say, twenty-two, twenty-four. I forgot. Anyways, a lot more than 12 stories tall. How is that possible? It's called, a little secret called, not so much secret to, to people that know about construction, know about development, but to most people, I'm assuming they don't know this, or they do, and they don't really either care or fight it. And as you know, you can't fight City Hall, the old saying. But this, this is just one prime example of many more condominiums that are going to be taller than 12 12 stories. Why? Because Mayor Rob Burton and his council allow what is called bonusing. So in other words, the developer pays a ton of money into the Oakville Treasury to allow this to happen and allow these developments to go taller than what is already a part of the living Oakville or the, 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 the uh, official plan and allow it to go taller than 12 stories. Either that or they pay land in kind, usually a small little parkette. So they go, well, we, we donated this little parkette, so now you can allow us to go taller than 12 stories. This is going to happen even more, not only in this area here, I believe this is still Ward 5 or it's part of Ward 2, I, I didn't check, um, but the councillors are allowing this against the wishes of most people. Another issue that needs to be solved. I am going to strongly advocate to bring back the power of the residents to development like this. Now, I give the architect credit. These are actually good looking buildings. A little too much glass for my, my, in my opinion, but that's just my subjective opinion. But while they look good, it's completely gone against the development or, sorry, against the uh, the bylaw, against the, the, the law, that states you're allowed to only go 12 stories. So I just wanted to point that out. We need to have the power of the residents, back, the, the power of development back into the residents' hands and not into what Mayor Burton's been doing for the past 10 years, 12 years, and solve the issue. So again, let's turn this kind of development back into the power of the residents and not keeping it in the power of developers and in this case Mayor Rob Burton and his counselors. Real solutions, real issues, now.